Here is a uh, first attempt at a solar tracker. We've got a wheel here. It's attached to a bucket that's in a bucket. And the, uh, the water slowly coming out of the bucket through a little hole in the bottom. And as it does so, the bucket goes down and... Oops. The bucket goes down and the tracker moves on the axis. Um, and here we have a regulator and it keeps the level here uh, the same so uh, if it drops down water moves very quickly out of it. And, uh, I haven't got quite right that part. Anyway uh, it stops uh, when the water level uh, fills up a little and this in turn is attached has a hole in it attached to this little device and this regulates and because the level here is constant we can get a very pretty constant flow here and i won't have it you know like this is just an, a couple of inches of height difference i'll have maybe a foot of a height difference and this will make all the difference and this will uh, make the water clock a whole heap more reliable and hopefully I can get about 8 hours of timing from this one. So here is the improvement um, using two buckets. Um, one bucket empties and the emptied water from the one bucket fills into the other. They're both attached to the uh, equatorial mount um, to the wheel on the equatorial mount and um, that gives it um, extra uh, stability uh, when it's only attached by by one uh, you have to weight it so that um, there's a pull on it but when it's attached by two you can have it um, perfectly balanced and um, the two floats will keep the equatorial mount where it needs to be well this project is nearly over for me and uh, lots of times the execution of my experiments and my videos has been terrible but um, please uh, look at the ideas behind them and um, look to industry to show them that um, this is something that you want and they'll be shelling out these things like you wouldn't believe and um, we'll have a better pretty nice solar future. Thank you. Bye.